So this is actually what they call Central Jalapa. Uh, we come down here maybe twice a month. Um, this is one of the oldest Catholic churches. And they actually have a book fair going on here, which is actually pretty cool. As you can tell, it's um, really busy. This on a Saturday. So instead of just calling this downtown Jalapa, it's actually called Central. Everybody again, welcome to uh, my channel, uh, Uncle Map. We are in um, um, Juarez Park, which is downtown Jalapa. They don't really call it downtown here; they call it Central. And we are in. This used to be wide open before COVID, but they're doing some construction. And you used to get really awesome views, um, but you can't really get the mountains with the houses and the color in it. And plus, it's really cloudy, and we've been having rainy weather. So I just want to take a quick um, walk through the park here to show you what this all entails. This used to be all loaded with um, just all vendors, but only half the vendors are open. So we'll come and take a walk and see what's going on. The, um, this park is always busy. So, um, as you see in any park, lots of pigeons. <laughs> Some of these food vendors are not open. And I think at the start, maybe last April, May, most of these vendors, if not all, were shut down. Um, but slowly throughout the summer, everything reopened. Um, most of these people that work on these food vendors that you see get paid daily. And so this is their livelihood. And um, after we get done walking through this park, we'll, we'll try some food and let you know what the prices are. Everything's r rather really inexpensive. They've got some really nice um, landscape, I guess you could call it. Um, they, they keep this up pretty nice. So this is, um, right now I think it's after 5 o'clock. And usually in the afternoon, between 12 and 1, it gets, starts to get pretty busy. This is where um, the, all like the government agencies and stuff are located. Um, I will say this, the food definitely smells good. This is a um, pretty popular um, person in Mexico history, Benito Juarez, kind of considered a national hero, um, and I've obviously before I came to Mexico heard of him, don't know the history, a lot of the history about him, but Mexico does have very interesting history, just like uh, the states and any other places. And um, so this is the area of um, downtown, I just wanted to give everybody used to um, to kind of give a general um, feel for. It's been really nice down here. I've been down here maybe 10 times. I don't get here too often. Um, but as you will see in this video that I am making today for this week, there is a lot. It's a rather busy, busy city. Um, and for those that may not remember me saying, this is the capital of Veracruz. Anyways, um, I just want to show you this for now. and. We'll show you more later. Okay, we're here at uh, one of these vendors that we decided to stop by. Um, uh, Monty's daughter is with her friend somewhere. She, they're going to order pancakes, but we decided to stop here at this place. The Charles is very popular no matter where you go. As you can see, the prices are really inexpensive, but we decided just to go with a corn dog. I haven't had a corn dog probably since I've been to the States, so that'll be a little bit different. Um, the nachos with um, queso picante, um, 25 pesos, that's like a, almost like a dollar 25. That's really inexpensive. Um, tapas is usually it means potatoes, uh, french fries. Um, so, but that's what we decided to go with, and um, we'll see. No, we're just waiting for um, Kimena and her boyfriend to go get what they want, and then we're off to a coffee shop.
Um, so hopefully we'll add this that part in our video and um, we'll um, continue on from there. Alright, we're gonna see what this tastes like. Should have got more napkin. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. It has um oh hot dog obviously. Um, the corn dog, the breading, the cheese, the ketchup, and mayo. And this is actually considered the Quarter Pack, which is a small city, um, about six miles from here, um, style type corn dog. Um, and the same with the papas and the um, um, nachos. They have like um, picante, the, the picante cheese, and regular queso. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna go enjoy this. You can't complain for a buck on this. So, all right. Okay, we just left the park, Juarez, and we're headed to a coffee shop, and we're walking downhill, fortunately, but as you can see, this road is extremely narrow. Uh, many roads in Jalapa are like this, and even as of like 10, 15 years ago, even the main roads were like this. Jalapa is a very mountainous city, and so that's why the roads are the way that they are. So I just wanted, very, very scenic, very nice, just not good walking up there. So, um, anyways, we will continue once we get to the coffee shop. This is a leche that we ordered, the churro. More coffee or just meal? No more coffee, just gracias. So this is how they do here at Parochia. It's very, very nice. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. So, this is a very, very busy coffee shop, and it always has been, and it stayed open through the COVID season down there. And for now, this is going to be the end of the video, and hopefully next week, um, we're going to try to get a one-on-one -on -one interview with a really good friend of ours who's from Texas. She's lived here for 20 years, and she's got a lot of information on the city of Jalapa, like um, the cost of living. She's a really neat lady. So hopefully uh, next week we can get that one up and through. Thanks again, everybody, for watching our videos. And I just ask, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so we can get more people watching our videos. And hopefully our content will be much better and continue to grow and get better as we do more videos. Anyways, y'all have a nice week. Thank you and good night.